It is something we don't often think about, but it's really, really important. The rise in natural disasters from climate change have caused people to lose their homes, their jobs, family members, even communities. Rising temperatures have also been associated with an increased aggression, domestic violence, and suicide, all which raise the risk of survivor depression, anxiety, and PTSD. We are joined by psycho uh, psychotherapist and wellness expert Heather Hans this morning. She's going to talk about all of this. Heather, good morning. Good morning, Gary. Nice to be with you this morning. Nice to see you too. So what are the symptoms and what are the treatments for PTSD that comes from climate change? Sure, so the symptoms follow other types of PTSD symptoms, which can include intrusive memories, anxiety, and avoidance of trauma-related reminders. And it can also be delayed and transmitted to future generations. Now, the typical treatments are medication, which can temporarily reduce symptoms, and trauma-based therapies, which can help rewire the brain. But there are also alternative economical methods that people can use to help their own uh, um, trauma-related symptoms. Yeah, what are some of those alternative methods? Sure. So the first one happens to be ecotherapy, which involves the natural world. Researchers have found that interacting with the natural world and green spaces can help people actually grow from trauma. So taking nature walks and tuning into your five senses or going out into nature without any technology can help people access new inspiration and resources. Hiking, kayaking, and mountain climbing have all been found to be therapeutic. And service animals, pets, birds, and horses can treat symptoms of PTSD. Another thing to do is write about what happened to you and how you overcame it. Writing can help trauma symptoms by reorganizing the way that trauma is organized in the brain. And so researchers have found that the most healing type of trauma links feelings to events. So it's good to write it in a story format with a beginning, middle, and end looking for revelations that make you go from victim to victor. So you ask yourself, what do I know now that I didn't know before the disaster and how can I use it to make a positive change? And one other thing that can't be overstated is the importance of support groups because they provide a place where people can talk about what happened to them with people who get it. And that can be very validating. And they can also learn new coping tips and meet new friends and people can find support groups in their area based on trauma, just doing a simple web search. There are also groups that meet online and therapy can be done in groups as well to help save costs. So those are three, three of many ways that people can help themselves. It is very important. And as I said earlier, something we just don't think about that often. Heather Hans, always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gary.